is going on everybody and welcome on back to Call of the Wild where today I am bringing you the Leighton Lakes Ultimate Hunting Guide. And let's go ahead by starting with the animals that can be found out here. So Leighton's is home to eight beautiful species of animal, okay? They are going to be the coyote, we also have the white-tailed jackrabbit, we have the white-tailed and black-tailed deer, uh, the black bear as well, the moose, the mallards, and then also the beautiful Roosevelt elk. But as always, I'm going to give you an animal by animal breakdown and we are going to start out here with the coyote. Coyotes. coyotes are going to be found anywhere along this right hand side here of the river that runs on down through the map as well as coming out onto this left hand fork of that as well but also they love to go on down here through the southern parts of the river as well and they also like to go ahead and hang around on three specific lakes okay so I'm going to give you those locations because they are so close to that starting out post that you get when you load Leighton up for the first time and that's going to be this one here that looks kind of like a mushroom the lake just below that one and then the lake over to the left hand side there. I do know from uh, personal experience that I can find the coyotes anywhere on this top part of the map as well. So make sure you go ahead and walk around there to see if you can find any for yourself. Then in terms of their need zone times, they are pretty available all day. They are going to be out there from four in the morning until five in the afternoon. So definitely an animal that you can find all throughout the day. So make sure you have that 243 on you to take them out no matter what time it is. And then our next species has to be the beautiful white-tailed jackrabbit. Now, they are a really good species to hunt because they can be found anywhere on the map. They are not located to any specific area of the map. Now, in terms of need zone times, they do actually have a couple of need zone times that you guys want to be aware of. And they are going to be first off 6 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. And then also 5 in the afternoon until midnight. So they are around pretty much early in the morning and then late in the afternoon. Now then, in terms of the black bear, they are a species that absolutely dominate the southern side of the map, okay? They are absolutely everywhere, all over here, especially up at these two lakes here on the bottom left-hand side of the map. They also love to go to this semi-lake, semi-river in the middle of the southern side, as well as coming over to the left-hand side down here of this lake around there. But also, they can be found anywhere along this southern side of the river that runs through the map. They won't be found up in the north at all. But of course, to hunt them, you need to know what time you are meant to be looking for them. So the black bears are going to be out from midnight until 12 a.m. So they are a morning species. Now, as you can see here, we have some beautiful mallards that are flying away from us right now, which brings us on to our next species, which is actually going to be the mallards. Now then, the mallards are a really interesting species because they can be found at any body of water across the map, okay? It doesn't really matter the location or how big the body of water is. They can be found anywhere. For example, they can be found in this south side of the map. They can also be found right up here in the, uh, in the main rivers and they can be found in any of the lakes as well. There you go. As, the, as you can see there, we've got a mallard need zone in the lakes, but they are specific to water sources. Okay. So you will only get a need zone for them in a body of water and they are around all day. Okay. Some of their need zones are really early in, in the morning, 3.30 till 5.30. Some of them are midday. So 11.30 till one. And then some of them are one till three. So they have different need zone times, but they can be found all throughout the day. So let's move on now and let's start talking about the white tail and black tail deer, starting with the white tail. Now the white Whitetails, they can be found anywhere along any part of the river, okay? They are a riverbound species. They love moving all over the map, but also they can be found on this left-hand lake up on the very top of the map, as well as at a couple of the southern side lakes here as well. And then also you can find them along this southern coast of the map. So the whitetails are pretty map-wide, um, but specifically they are bound to the main river as well as this upper left-hand lake up there, which is why I've got a tent placed down at the side of it. The two main hotspots that I have for them, though, have to be on this right-hand fork here, going from what we call Fish Island up to the top of the map, as well as on this left-hand side here. Um, pretty much where the river forks off, that's where you're going to find a very dense population of them. And then in terms of their need zone time, whitetails have morning need zone times from 4 until 8 in the morning, but then they also have an afternoon need zone time of 12 until 4. Blacktail, you may think, would have a very similar need zone presence um, as the whitetails, but it's actually very different. The black tails tend to be anywhere on this bottom right hand side of the map and also at these bottom two left lakes here. But also they have a very high density up on this little section up here right next to the Willapeg outpost. That's one of the places that I absolutely love to hunt for the black tail because they are often all around this lake right here. One place that the white tail and black tail do cross over though is their need zone times because the black tail have the same need zone times of four until eight in the morning and then also 
also from midday until four in the afternoon. Moving on now then to the biggest animal on this map, which are going to be the moose. And then the moose, they can be found pretty much on... So if you imagine the, the river as a slingshot, okay? Uh, they can be found anywhere on the sort of Y section here of the slingshot. Uh, the moose absolutely love to be around here early in the morning. But then throughout the day, they make their way south on the map. And in the afternoon, you can find them anywhere on this lower section of the river. As well as similar to the bears, they love to come over to this right hand side here in the Lake District region. With the addition though of this little river section that comes up out of the south of the map. Now then as I have said there so the moose they like to start off in the morning up here and then make their way south throughout the day and the reason for that is that they have two main need zone times. The first one is going to be from four in the morning until midday and then the second need zone is going to be from four in the afternoon until eight in the afternoon or eight in the evening. So that is the reason why often in the morning they will be up top and then down in the afternoon they will be at the lowest section of the map. And then finally, we have to talk about those beautiful Roosevelt elk. The main areas that I find the Roosevelt elk are going to be anywhere along this upper right hand side of the river right there, as well as at the lakes just off to the side. And then also they love to go on down through the map to the south bottom right lake over here. So that's one of the areas that I would definitely recommend for going ahead and trying to find some Roosevelt elk. But also they do have a favorite spot on the left hand side of the map as well with these two bottom left lakes there being a favorite for the Roosevelt elk as well. There's quite a lot of animals that tend to go over to these in the Runichi area and uh, I would definitely recommend getting yourself a tent and a tripod placed down there because you never know quite what you will get in those regions. But also the Roosevelt elk, they love to go up to this middle north section of the map as well. Quite often being able to be found on this left hand side of the lake there but also very similar to the blacktails, they will be found in this left hand upper region of the Winnipeg area as well. So they are a little bit all over the map, but I hope that those areas there do give you guys some really awesome zones for them. And in terms of their need zone time, they are exactly the same as the moose from 4 until 8 in the morning and then from 4 until 8 in the evening as well. So that pretty much covers all of the animals on the map. Now, the only other thing for us to do is go through the outpost locations, which if you go ahead and pause the video right now, you'll be able to see where they all are. So there we have it. We've covered all of the animals, their locations, and their need zone times. The only other thing for us to discuss is the guns that I use when I'm playing on this map. Now, I use my standard run of the 22LR, the 243, the M1, and the 300 to allow me to shoot the entire spectrum of animals on this map. But there's no reason why you couldn't get away with just simply running the 22LR, the 243, and the M1. And then again, I don't use callers when I'm running around the map, but I do know that for this map, you can use things like the Deer Bleat or the Deer Grunt for the Whitetails, the Distress form caller for the coyotes as well as a couple of others for the other animals out here but they are something that I do often say is optional because I tend to find that me hunting out here works just fine without ever using any callers. If you feel there's anything that I have missed going through this video then please do go ahead and leave me a comment down below I absolutely love going ahead and reading through all of those seeing what the feedback is for the video so that I can improve whenever I'm making new content but until next time guys if you have enjoyed this video please do leave a like on it and subscribe for more of the videos that I'm uploading and I will catch you in the next video. Until then, take care, enjoy the hunting out there. Peace.